Before we talk about the drama already happening at Pokemon Worlds because the Pokemon community is terrible, at least Junichi Masuda is having fun at Worlds. Haven't shown his Twitter on the channel in a while, and he's looking great. He's looking happier than ever since leaving Game Freak and becoming a creative fellow over at the Pokemon Company. So we don't have like any game teases or anything from him. But yeah, Junichi Masuda is chilling. And it's also interesting because, oh yeah, Game Freak went to Hawaii for Pokemon Sun and Moon, and that also like had Oras teasers in inside of it as well. So, kind of comes back full circle. Nietzsche's back in Hawaii. What's happening at Pokemon Worlds though? Scalping from the Pokemon Center, and no one is happy. And this actually ties into cheating. Everyone's wondering, how's Verlissabai going to make everything about cheating? Well, it's just common sense, which also the Pokemon community lacks a lot of, because. When you allow bad actors and cheaters to just flourish and there's no punishment whatsoever, turns out bad people show up to your events and do bad things. Also, a lack of punishment or enforcement from the Pokemon Company, just complete incompetence that we've seen for over a decade. Yeah, stuff like this is going to happen. So, it's also like the narcissism of social media that never ceases to amaze me. This person's like, oh, I'm going to post my haul. This is my flex. What did they think was going to happen? So yeah, wow, that's a that's a lot of views, and that's a bad like ratio, and no one is happy. So ooh, cringe. Why do you need all those specialty deck boxes? And that's kind of like, oh yeah, he didn't just buy things for himself, did he? There was a problem. Well, not a problem, but there just wasn't enough inventory for the demand of the Pokemon Center world. So there's a lot of stuff like this, where it's like the current state, it, it's already emptied out, and then that's getting a lot of views. Do they not have purchase limits in place? I'm seeing people already posting with multiples. They definitely needed to go with like pre-order option or something for all, all that. Insanely cringe on how much is getting bought out. And that also kind of like does bring some kind of question into this. Because yeah, if you're buying all these deck boxes to flip them on eBay and then maybe get a significant amount of like your cost flying out there back depending on how much they're going for. Some of the stuff is already selling for like way over retail because it's exclusive worlds merch. Yeah, that's scummy. But what if you're buying extras to bring back to your friends at the local game store or you trade them and sell them there because these are competitors. You still need money for future regional events. You still need money for new sets and deck deck building and stuff or also just like helping the cost of worlds. And depending on, like, the rules against it and whatever, yeah, it does get kind of weird. So it's like, if you're not hard scalping and immediately putting these on eBay for, like, three times the price, is it less icky? And I also had a thought about how this goes back into Pokemon VGC as well, because of all the crying and lies about how competitive Pokemon is inaccessible because you need, like, $500 in games and stuff. But Nintendo Switch is already, like, the highest-selling Nintendo console. Pokemon Sword and Shield has outsold Pokemon Scarlet and Violet, and you can still get them used or anything, or like everyone has it, so it's not like, oh, I need to spend $80 or $9 for the DLC just to get an Urshifu or else I can't play the game. That just never, ever happened. So yeah, Pokemon players are crying about accessibility, and then they drop the $500 at the Pokemon Center store after already spending the thousands and potentially $10,000 going to all the events to get the championship points and then flying to Hawaii for Pokemon Worlds and all of those expenses and stuff. Oh wow, it's just always bullshit, huh? The Pokemon community, they all, they, here's another example of like the Pokemon community only knowing hate and toxicity. If I'm bringing like one back for a friend and then I have some bartering power at the local game store or next regional event, is that bad? But also, this dude has me blocked, so a weirdo or cheater in some capacity doing something slimy. Everyone sucks in Pokemon. Actually, things got so bad, the dude had to make a statement. I did not break any limits. From what I can recall, all deck boxes were limit 5, sleeves limit 5, plushies limit 1, and playmats limit 1. I followed the guidelines of what was in place. Even at a moment, I thought it was quite absurd that the limit was 5, because all previous events were 2. So maybe there's some kind of communication issues with that. Maybe the Pokemon company does have like a crazy stock and something's gonna happen with that. Most of the deck boxes and sleeves are being brought back to my local crew, which is also what I thought. It's like not everyone is scalping, but the thing is people see multiple hauls like this and then they're just, and then they look on eBay and there's already things getting like sold for $50, $100.
So when the hateful, toxic Pokemon community sees someone buying max limit or somehow gets over the limit on something, they go and lose their mind. But overall, it's been like a very poor experience. What's the reaction to this? Don't give them power with your answer. How's like correcting misinformation give them power? This is the weirdness about the internet and toxicity that I never understand. For someone makes a dumb comment again about him charging a little bit extra, which is deleted now, getting all that merch from Hawaii to Jersey isn't free. Oh, did he say like some of it was for sale? And then it was like slightly charged more? I don't know. Best to work in secret. Yeah, again, it, it was like everyone's a weirdo here. That's just the Pokemon community. Pokemon players and pitchforks. Name a more iconic duo. There we go. I engaged with Pokemon World stuff enough until the algorithm started giving me what I'm looking for. So yeah, another person. Don't ask me how I spent. Just buying out the Pokemon Center. Not saying this is a good or bad thing, but just the hypocrisy of the Pokemon community to say like, oh, VGC is inaccessible and then immediately spend more money on Pokemon Center merch. The skateboard alone is 350. The ukuleles are 60. The deck boxes are reasonable. The ukuleles are already on eBay for 300 plus. It's the Pokemon company and community and everything just sucks. Sixth world championship I've attended. The worst Pokemon experience or Pokemon Center experience I've had. Day one and a half stole, store is sold out. There are people sitting on the ground reselling in store. And now here's where the problem is. Like, how? How is the Pokemon company so corrupt? So incompetent, this is allowed. And this is how you can see that it goes back into cheating and cheaters. Because the Pokemon company has never enforced the rules properly. There is no fear of anything from all these bad people in the Pokemon community, which is why they flourish in this. If you get caught, like, scalping at the event, let alone in the store, you should have your badge pulled immediately. You are disqualified from world. Just get the fuck out of the community. It should be that simple and that easy. Also, like, we can just see what people are saying about the quality of the workforce going down, everyone being too entitled, no one caring about anything, the younger generations just being hopeless. It's like, how do you have that much incompetence as well for your world's event? You can't, like, I'm pretty sure you can find any Pokemon fan in the area, and they'd be happy to even be a Pokemon Center worker. And you, you just get some bum that doesn't want to enforce any rules, and then there's no... Pokemon company employees, no, like, actual judges or tournament officials enforcing any of this stuff? That That's what gets me. Where it's like, man, you, you gotta at least be able to weed out the blatantly bad people. Because apparently there was a limit, but either the cashiers weren't aware or weren't enforcing it. So again, that's either just, like, the apathy that we see from the average person in the workforce now, which is just stupid, especially if, like, you're getting hired for the Pokemon company, or if these are, like, Pokemon company representatives, even though I don't, like, you're not flying someone out to Hawaii for that, so who knows what kind of, uh, work, what's, what's it called? Like, a staffing agency. It's probably just some local staffing agency for, like, a quick gig or something, or maybe volunteers? But even then, like, okay, they're not enforcing that. And... Th these people, like these people, like the Pokemon company can't get any good people to volunteer or work for them at any capacity. Just be like, wait a second, you shouldn't be buying five of these things. Like, tw like you shouldn't have a thousand dollar cart of mostly duplicate stuff. Like, no one, no one woke up and realized that that was a problem. And apparently there was, which also kind of goes into like, what's the limit? Is it one of everything? Can you have up to two? Because that's kind of nice where you have one to trade or give to a friend or something else or at least a replacement if something goes wrong and yeah i don't see what's so hard about programming the checkout process to not allow more than x quantity of a certain item so it auto enforces it that too this is pokemon worlds and it's the pokemon company and they can't even like have a pop-up retail thing be successful even though pokemon is mostly retail and then like people are already making the memes you know competitors that worked hard to get they, well the competitors don't work hard they all cheat so that's whatever and then scalpers and resellers on the pokemon were uh, merch and then should have had a limit and everyone else did which is why people are like oh wow this is actually the worst pokemon center experience i've ever had because it just completely fell apart somehow everything is in shambles things only get worse for the pokemon company verlissify always right per the pokemon company though Pokemon Center is going to be restocked every single day of the event until they're out of inventory. Expected to look like this at the end of every day, only for shelves to fill back up the next morning. 
that's still not like reassuring or a good thing because then they're just going to go in and buy out everything again and it's going to be the same thing so unless like you're and at some point you need to be a competitor so are people gonna to have to like drop out early if they want to actually buy things instead of like maybe pushing to qualify like to get into day two or something um how early do you have to line up to even have a chance to get things and then yeah who cares if it just keeps looking like this it means there wasn't enough inventory and there's not enough enforcement i'm expecting it to get better over the course where it's like okay now this problem has been a thing so the people working there are going to be like much more enforceable about it but even then i still think there's going to be inventory issues and just going off of this well you've, you've already cleaned out a day and a half of stock so it's not going to get like it's not going to be that oh any, everyone that wanted something there's enough for everyone no it's just not looking good especially with like how how this is already going defeating scalpers is an impossible task sometimes except you just make it one limit or something situation at worlds this year is far better than people online are making it seem the store is massive but it's not that big it's all day weeks worth of gear yeah this person's just weird i don't get it um sad many pokemon content yeah and that's also like it's also the content creators wow everyone there is just a bad actor crazy they become hoarders for the sake of making profit despite getting a free invite yeah that's also a thing that i've been seeing a bit of these photos were taken around 8 p.m local in hawaii when many were going to the pokemon center for the first time based on their time slot so by the time you get there it's like oh there's actually nothing left and then why not restock it based on time slots if you're the pokemon company but also that means like creators and other people got earlier access and then just overbought it's so, like oh yeah but apparently it's not as bad as what people are making out over there world championship series 2024 honolulu pokemon center store and then again multiples of everything who knows the degree of scalping but still that's uh something and then i i was just kind of like looking it up but not not many replies uh what about the quote yeah and then no one quoted it so that's another weird thing where it's like this this person is hoarding as well and doesn't get like mass hated on and then yeah went at 2 p.m today for the pokemon center and they were already sold out of lanyards ukuleles backpacks skateboard sleeves deck boxes and play mats again why are they not just restocking as needed like how how does the pokemon how does everyone fumble pokemon company fumbling with like bad policy or bad workers or not enough people to help out with this situation like you should just have your stock ready for as it's sold or as it starts to run low you bring out more like a actual store does and not go okay we're restocking every day and if you get a late time slot well it sucks to be you but yeah that's what's going on at pokemon worlds and keep an eye on the hashtags the drama all that fun stuff some of you guys probably have like an algorithm dialed in so please keep me updated anyone that's there or knows someone that's at pokemon worlds I would like to get an idea on like oh who's getting disqualified and all the hacked pokemon and all that fun stuff and then there's all kinds of crazy stuff going on because scalpers exist since collectors will just put out for it want to buy the japanese card from the pokemon competitor packs 200 dollars for just this card also promo packs for 500 entire kits for 800 crazy stuff going on at pokemon worlds so yeah who knows what's going to happen with pokemon worlds this year the dqs kind of blindside all the competitors are we still going to see dqs will there still be cheaters on stream for the tcg like always who even knows but guess it starts already hope you guys enjoyed the video hope you all have a nice day thank you very much for watching